I was walking along Toronto Island Beach when I noticed a pile of debris at my feet. It wasn't just a single pile, though. It was a trail that extended along the entire coastline. The debris needed to be recycled. However, it would have taken too long to collect it piece by piece by hand. What shocked me was that we were seeing the effects of a global problem here locally. How can we make shoreline cleanup faster and more efficient using automated routines? To investigate this, we launched robot missions, tackling this question using a robotics platform. The robot platform was developed for debris retrieval, exploration, and mobile sensor monitoring. The entire structure is 3D printed so that you can go to a fab lab anywhere in the world and be able to replicate this project. Interchangeable modules enable the robot to be adaptable to specific terrains and conditions. Our baseline data shows that the robot can pick up and return one piece of debris in less than 90 seconds in 2.2 square meters. And this is just the start. It will become even more efficient with more automated routines that are developed. Oh, yeah. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Together with a group of volunteers, and collaborators, we embarked on field tests. We were able to see in a hands-on way just how the robot is able to work in the real-world environment. And then I thought about the environmental impact that it'll have. That's great. Yeah? We don't need this robot to be like yeah, super quick or whatever. Race, right? We need it to... It's in parallel. Uh, like, yeah, yeah. We, we need the robot to be semi-autonomous so that like uh, a, a single person can set it down somewhere, let it do its thing, and it work on something else. Like maybe set another robot down somewhere else. And so it'll be like technically one employed person clean up an entire beach with the help of Sydney autonomous robots and I think like that uh, I think the idea of having robots to clean up uh, debris on the beach is a really good idea I'm just looking around here and I see tons of cigarette butts uh, bottle caps other stuff that really shouldn't be here if kids are going to be playing here uh, so it's a safety hazard and you know an environmental concern so being able to deploy some robots to clean these up piece by piece rather than waiting for people to come along and do it, I think is a great idea. And I really wanted to see what um, the missions or the field testing missions are all about. I think what Aaron is doing is amazing because it normalizes robotics for people. Um, the robot is 3D printed and it uses um, materials that are quite cheap. When, you, when people typically think of robotics, they think of, okay, I need to be an engineer, I need to be a coder, etc. 3D printers are available, there. you can purchase them, you can get um, get your um, designs printed at public libraries or maker labs. So it's, it's about normalizing the robotics experience. I'm looking forward to the, the new additions and new improvements on the robots. It's easy to think that this problem is so immense that we can't tackle it. And it's easy to feel as though we will never see the effects of these problems. However, we have the ability and we must protect our environment and preserve our natural spaces. Mission number one was just the start, and we hope that you will join us on the next robot mission.